What up, fam? It's your boy. Hey, right, listen, I know it's hard to keep it pushing when you feel like life is just pushing you around. But you gotta stand fast, you gotta hold strong Because every storm will eventually run out of rain And every hurt and heartbreak will eventually run out of pain But you gotta keep your head up And you gotta know that there's a brighter day There's a better way And there's a prayer to pray Remember your pedigree Reflect on what you made of Remember who and what you come from As well as what you've already been through So let me tell you something about you You've got warrior in your blood. You are incredible. You are handcrafted and blessed by the man himself. So now repeat after me. Life, you better recheck my resume. I wish you would and I dare you to try me again because I am needed, I am necessary. Man, she's out. <laughs> what up, fam? It seems like a lot of us have been gaining a little weight lately. And I'm not talking about that eating kale for the scale weight. I'm talking about what you've been feeding your mind. You know the saying, you are what you eat? Well, more importantly, you are what you think. So to produce a healthy mind, you really need to jump on that no negativity diet. <laughs> We've got to stop feeding from the obesity of hate, jealousy, bitterness, conceit. Do not let your mind dine off of these things. We got to feast from the garden of love. We have to pick from the tree of care. We have to drink from the fountain of joy. One of the things we can do immediately is start seeking to understand before trying to be understood. And we know you are the absolute best at always finding what's wrong with things. Teach yourself to discover what's right with things. Right now I'm having a thought gasm, just imagining what this world would be like if each of us made a conscious effort to be a better person, friend, or family member. Can you imagine what this world would look and feel like? Do your part, be needed, be necessary. Man, she's out. What up fam? This morning I woke up just like you, blessed. I had food to eat, I had clothes on my back, I had somewhere to sleep, I had a beating heart. That's what I call blessed. I had all that I need. And the more we can recognize and acknowledge that, the easier it will be for us to bathe in humility, to increase our appetite for appreciation, and to indulge in some empathy. Now I've said this before, but I can't seem to say it enough because last night someone prayed for a life like yours. They prayed for a child like yours. They prayed for parents like yours. They prayed for a husband and wife like the one you got. And they prayed hard for it too. But sometimes, and maybe too many times, you are taking these things for granted. You don't miss it until it's gone. And if you don't tell them, they'll never know. If you know how good it feels to be loved, to be liked, to be appreciated, why aren't you loving more? Why aren't you liking more why aren't you appreciating more today let someone know they're needed let them know they are necessary Mangy's out hey listen everything in life has its price the question is what are you willing to pay for the things you really want out of life what are you willing to sacrifice what are you willing to go through what are you willing to endure how hard are you really willing to work to get the things you want and when you hear the word no do you shut down or do you fire up the reason why some of you are still stuck on average is because A, you have an average work ethic, or B, you're still allowing people to put a ceiling on your sky. Listen, if I gave you two eggs, what would you produce? If I gave a chef two eggs, guess what they would produce? A full menu, yet you both have two arms, two legs, two hands, two feet. What's the difference? The difference is the chef was limitless. The chef knew that there's always a sale on average, there's discounts on goods, but to be the best, you gotta pay full price. You gotta put in the work. And if you don't know where to start, find somebody to emulate because it's okay to be a copycat as long as you copy the right cat. Be needed, be necessary. I'm out. When the truth shows up, lies, they run and hide. Whenever love is spoken, hate becomes silenced. When faith stands up, fear sits down. And when courage walks into the darkness, just like film, the coward becomes exposed. So with that being said, why not just keep it real? Be like your brochure. Make sure your meal matches your menu. So have you ever wondered why some relationships don't work, don't last? It's because someone in that relationship, partnership, business ship is false advertising. They're lip syncing someone else's lyrics. And false advertisements only bring fans, not friends, customers, and not clients. So keep it real. Be needed. Make yourself necessary. I'm out of here.